we're back today with the practice head and we're gonna do a different style princess mask today this one has some fanciness around the eyes that I think you're really gonna like um, so we're gonna start with our three quarters inch brush we're gonna load that one up with our red white and pink cake because we're gonna be making a heart today so load that up nice not too wet not too dry and we're gonna start with a heart right in the middle all right so to do that you're gonna make um, depending on the skin tone, I actually like to do for light skin tones, I like to do dark red on the outside, and for dark skin tones, I like to do white on the outside. So just whichever one creates a better contrast. So we're going to do a nice loop-de-loop -loop kind of thing. I guess not a loop-de-loop, -loop. <laughs> it's just the loop. Like that's one side of the heart, and now we're going to do the other side. So the same thing on the other side. and just fill in anything that you missed, and that's gonna be your heart. Beautiful. And now we're gonna take our, this is called Mermaid. This one um, I really like. I made this one myself in my, for my multicolor rainbow palette. But it's basically dark blue, light blue, and a yellow. I think this one looks best for this design. So you're gonna fully load that up and spritz the whole thing with blue. <laughs> All right, that's another great thing about these laminated ones, they just wipe right off. So now you're gonna take your blue and we're gonna make some loops right here down to the corner of the eye. So we're gonna do one, two, three, down to the corner of that eye. Same thing on the other side, one, three down to the corner of that eye and now we're gonna finish it off with a nice C curve so starting at that corner we're gonna come up and around like that make a C curve just like that and now this next part is where it gets a little tricky I would highly recommend practicing this a lot before you decide to do it at a party because it's close to the eyes so it's a little bit like in the danger zone of getting paint in the eyes. So make sure you practice it a lot before you're comfortable doing it at a party. You're gonna start um, by having them close their eyes really lightly and you're gonna be giving them some like eye shadow. It doesn't have to go all the way to the edge of the eye. I tend to leave like a little bit, you know, away from the eyelashes just to make sure I don't get any in their eyes. And so you're gonna angle it like this and you're gonna follow the curve of their eye. Just like that. And you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Make sure the dark side is facing towards the, the bottom of their eyelid. Follow that curve up and around. And give it a little flick. Then you can use this edge of your brush to fill in that extra color that you might be missing there. All right, that's very beautiful and this is always super impressive if you're not comfortable with that technique with the eye you can always use a sponge dip it in yellow and then just blend it into those uh, loops that you already have there so that's a good way to start if you're not super comfortable doing the eye part make sure the most important thing to make sure with that is that your brush isn't too wet because otherwise it can run right into the eye so now I'm going to use this little bit of my red cake here we're going to be making some flowers to dress this up so again, for your flowers, you just dip the whole brush in a light color like white and then the very tip in a darker color like red. And we're gonna lay it down one, two, three, four, and five. It's a little bit lumpy, I guess. <laughs> the laminated paper is not the best in the world. Real skin is gonna be the best thing to practice on, but it's not a bad substitute. And we're gonna lay those down. You can do as many flowers as you want to fit in this area, depending on the shape of the face that they have. But mostly, it's good to be symmetrical on that one. And now we're just gonna take our white. Again, this is a number four low Cornell liner brush, and we're gonna do a few little highlights here. So we're gonna highlight on this heart, give it a little dot, give those flowers some little dots. 
can come in here and do some little dots around here in case your edges aren't perfect right there. Flick into this corner of the eye with some like white long eyelashes. Give your heart a few little wings right here. right in to make the nice little wing set and dots right here I like to do them like radiating out and getting a little smaller as they go so beautiful and maybe a couple little stars if we have time stars and dots always help dress things up a little bit All right, there you have it, a beautiful princess mask that looks super fancy and awesome. Um, yeah, give this one a try, practice on your practice face. Uh, there's also this really great uh, helpful thing that goes over a lot of these same shapes that we just used here today. You can just trace right over them on this laminated paper and then practice down here at the bottom. So that's a free printable. Um, check the description for a link to where you can download a PDF of these. Uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks so much and enjoy this beautiful princess ma mask and we'll see you next time.